In this video, we'll walk through a couple of examples of converting from a parametric set of equations into a Cartesian form of the equation. That is, eliminating the parameter, here it's t, and then ending up with an equation that's just in terms of x and y. Okay, so in this set of parametric equations, what we want to do is solve each of these equations for t, or in this case for t squared, and then set those resulting equations equal to each other. And let me show you what I mean. First of all, we want to solve this for t squared. So I am just going to say divide by negative 1. So I get negative x equals t squared. And then this next one, I'm going to add 2 to each side. So I'll just change colors here. I get y plus 2 equals 2t two squared. That's for this equation. And I'll divide by 2. So I get y over 2 plus 1 equals t squared. Now we have these t squareds equal to each other, and so therefore we'll set negative x equal to y over 2 plus 1. So let's do that, and we get y over 2 plus 1 equals negative x. Let's multiply everything by 2 there, and you get y plus 2 equals negative 2x. Let's subtract 2 from each side, and you get y equals negative 2x minus 2. Now that is our equation in Cartesian form. Okay, so we've taken this parametric set of equations and eliminated the parameter. We have a, uh, a restriction here, and that is that comes from right here. When you have negative x equals t squared, well, the only way you can get uh, negative x to equal t squared, anytime you square a number, squaring t, you would get a positive number. So you're going to have to say that x will necessarily have to be less than or equal to 0 because we're talking about the opposite of x equaling t squared. So for example, if x were negative 5, it would be the opposite of negative 5 to plug in right here. Okay, so that's our restriction that we have on that equation. Next one, we have x equals t minus 1 and y equals the square root of t, and we have a restriction here. t is greater than or equal to, to 0. Let's solve each one of these for t now. So I get t equals x plus 1. I've just added 1 to each side. And on the next one, let's change colors here. I'm going to square each side, and so I get that t equals y squared. Okay, setting each of these equal to each other, I will get, as a result, y squared equals x plus 1. Nothing else to do there. That's our equation in Cartesian form, but we do have some restrictions. Let's deal with the x first. If if we are told that t is greater than or equal to 0, right here, t is always greater than or equal to 0, then necessarily, if x equals t minus 1, then necessarily x will have to be greater than or equal to negative 1. That is, if we plug in 0 for t, the lowest that we can allow t to be, x would equal negative 1. If we plug in anything higher for t, x would be something greater than negative 1. And so that's what we have shown here. x is greater than or equal to negative 1. The next one, y is a principal root of t. So y has to be positive, or that is non-negative. So we're just going to say y is greater than or equal to 0. So there is a couple of examples of eliminating the parameter or converting from parametric to Cartesian form and also remembering to put on the restrictions as we have with some of these problems.